Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sone. Today we're going to be learning how to graph on a graphing calculator. So if you've never used it before, first off, the graphing calculator has two main things that when you see a blank screen, you're not graphing. You're just doing normal things like 2 times 8, which is 16. Okay? But if you want to use any of the graphing features, you need to use these buttons at the top, which are the Y equals, the window, zoom, trace, and graph button. So basic, basic graphing. You hit y equals, and then you type in whatever equation you want. It only deals with x equations, but you can pretend like any variable's x. So even if it was a squared, you could type in x and then squared. This is the squared button right here. And then plus like 2x, let's go with minus 3. And then when you hit graph, it graphs it. So you'd end up with anything you want from that. The whole purpose of today's video is to just show you that when you hit y equals, you type the equation in. This button right here is the x button. And then you hit graph to graph anything. Now there's a lot of other things that can happen that can cause your graph to go out of funk and not be happy. The biggest thing that you need to learn how to do is get familiar with the zoom button. So when you zoom, you can zoom in and sometimes you didn't like what you just did, so then you have to go back to zoom out. But then if you move, it maybe doesn't look exactly the same. So I would recommend anytime you get to a new graph, you hit zoom standard, which is zoom six. So you can hit the number six and it would actually type it as well. Or you can tr scroll down there to standard. So I would start every graph out with the six by six, like standard 10 by 10 zoom. All right. Now there's a lot of other features that you can do. You can move your cursor around. You can do a lot of things that way and zoom in and zoom out. Uh, I'm going to have a whole different series on how to find these inter whoops, excuse me, these intersections out and the vertex and things like that. If you are interested in finding those, I would recommend watching that one. This was just to figure out how to type something in and how to hit that graph button because it's intimidating. These things are from like the 1990s. Okay. So until next time, I hope you look into some of the other videos. I will see you all later. Have a good one. Bye.